last activity option least displayed here is, is email. So let's, let's talk about how that works. Um, as you'd imagine, what it does is it brings up an email template, you know, from to BCC. You can create subjects. You can create a rich message. Um, we also have the option to relate to. Plus, there are these attach file, insert merge field, create a template, uh, email, uh, throw it away, or, 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 or kind of pop it out. Um, so just to show you how this works, let's say I'm going to do something here called a, 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 a test department message, um, and we can call it whatever we want to up there. Uh, what I'm doing is saying, how's everything at, and I'm going to insert a merge field here, and that merge field is going to be contact department and insert. And so you can imagine a, a full message, but you know, has everything in, in your group. And what I want to do is to say, uh, let's save that as a template. So what I'm going to do is to uh, save as a new template. And the new template is going to be called department. And I can put in here, you know, date, whatever else I need to, to describe it so that I can make sure everyone understands what it's about. The template gets saved. And uh, then say, oh, well, actually, that's not the template I wanted to use. But you, the idea is we've saved one, so you have a sense of that. So now what I want to do is to go in, and I want to insert a template. And it says, OK, you've got that department. I have the option of deleting the old ones here. And this is in my Lightning template, so I, there's lots that I can do in my own space. What I want to do, though, is to is to insert. And this is saying you already have an existing text in there. What do you want me to do? I, I do want you to insert. What it's done is insert a subject line. It's said, let's reconnect in the next few weeks. Uh, I've got this is being sent to her as a template. So I'm going to say, fine, uh, let's send that. A couple things happen. It notifies you that it happened. And then in the timeline, it does put out there uh, a, a note that says, I sent an email. And by clicking here, uh, what I am able to see is that there is an email message that I can refer back to um, as, as kind of background. It's also attached. Um, and so I'm going to go back in here. And then I can look at my email uh, to see that here's that message that I just sent. Deb, looking forward to reconnecting. This is showing pretty much what you're going to see for her message as well. Um, so what I did was to let's go look at hers. Um, and what we've got is, uh, so here's her message. And uh, by opening that, I can see there's a message here to Deb. Uh, and that all works. So that's the email process. Experiment with it. See how it works for you. And the next video is going to talk about the timeline feature, which is uh, very powerful.